In this video, we continue the use of Rhino's pre-programmed 2D shapes. We will be focusing on the curvy ones such as arcs, circle and ellipse. Now they are just as easy to create as the polyline tool which you have created previously. One important point to note that while exploding it, it will not create multiple segments. Whereas when we were using a polyline and we exploded it, it created multiple segments. We would start with arcs. You can find arcs in the sidebar. You can also find it under the curve under arc. There are many options under arcs. We would look at those specific options which would be generally used in rhinos. Let us start by plotting certain points on the C plane. So I go into points. I go into multiple points. We just want to place points on the C plane. So I place a point over here and I place a point at this particular location random. Now I select the arc. I make sure that my O snap is on and under O snap the point checkbox is on so that it snaps properly to the point. Look this works as a reference point. So the moment I click this acts as a start point and I click somewhere else and there it creates the arc for me. So I will again do this and select it and I'll delete it. I again go to arc. I simply take my mouse over it. It snaps to that particular point. I click. So that's the start point. I can draw the radius and from there it basically gets the angle and I get the end point. I select it I again delete it. Now I click on the arc. I again go to the start point. Now before clicking what I will do is I can give the length of my line. So the length of the line for example let's say it's 10 mm. So I write 10 and I hit enter. So if you see over here I get a 10 mm line. Now I need to click. I want to draw it at the angle of 35 degrees. So I'll write 35 and I write enter. So I have a 10 mm arc at the degree of 35 mm. Let's look at the next option. So I'll simply pan the screen. To start with let's say I take a circle and I draw a circle. And let's say I simply draw a line, just one line. Okay. So I have a circle, I have a line. I'm working in the top view. So the next option I want to show you is arc tangent to curves. So you can see it from here or you could click over here also. I click. First tangent curve, let's say I want to draw it tangent to the circle. Second tangent curve is the line. So I click. So as you go, as you go far, you can see it's creating a tangent and once you click, you can decide where do you want the curve. So you, if you drag on the left or you drag on the right, if I drag on the right, I click it's there. So I've got a curve which is tangent to two other curves. It's good to know that we have these options also. Okay. Now let's look at some options for circles. So let's say I take some random points, some multiple points. Okay, and I, under circle, we have an option over here, circle to fit points. So I select that and I select those four points and I press enter. It basically tries to create a circle which is closest to the four points which you have created. In the previous examples which we were seeing, we have not really worked with the command prompt and looking at the multiple options which you, are, which you have when you are working with curves. So let's say to start with, I create two points. I'm working in the front view. I simply create two points. I draw a polyline starting snapping to the first point straight and then to this point and right click. So I've created a polyline. Now I would want to explode this to make it separate line. So I explode it. So now this is a separate segment and this line is a separate segment. I select this line. I do a rebuild. So points, I want four points and th and so I rebuild it to four points and degree three. We've already covered this topic previous example. We have already covered the topics of degrees and points in the previous chapters. I select the segment. F10 is a shortcut for control points on or simply you can select edit points on. I select those two points. I just move it a little bit just to curve it. So this is basically what I want. Now what we want to do is since I have drawn in the front view. So we have drawn it vertically from the top. You simply just get a line. Now what we want to draw. Now what we want to do is we want to draw a circle around this specific line. Now that is not possible, but it will be a little difficult to draw it around this particular line. So I'll go into the circle tool. Now we have an option in the command prompt. It says around curve. I click on that particular option. It is asking me to select curve. I select this particular curve that we want to draw it. It's asking me 
that what's the cent uh, it's asking for the center of the curve so let's say I select the center and I simply I simply click and I drag so I can drag in any other view also there you go so if you see the perspective view you have properly created a circle around that particular curve so let's say let's try it again with the vertical line over here I again go to circle I again go to around curve I select the curve and under center I this time create the mid on so it snaps to the midpoint there you go I click and according to how I want I create the circle so there you go now we would look at the ellipse tool in the sidebar we can find it over here before that we make multiple points on the screen so we take a point on the center one up one on the left I select the first option that's ellipse from the center so ellipse center I define the center point I snap to the point and it says end of the first axis so I take the first axis and then it is asking for the end of the second axis I go to the second point so there you have made the ellipse with two points the next option we have is ellipse diameter so I click to the first point the first axis there and using that particular two points we are drawing an ellipse the next option is ellipse diameter so you define the diameter start of the first axis so I click and you end of the first axis and then you can define the diameter so I could maybe do this particular height and I define it there you go so suppose you want to draw an ellipse within a certain distance so this option could be useful the next option we would be looking at is ellipse by corners so I would take two points there you go so I select ellipse from corner I select the first point I select the second point so you see as you go ahead it is snapping to that so start point and end point so this is your two points now if you select this particular ellipse you right click over it F10 is a shortcut to show points or else in the sidebar I click on show points I select this particular point and let's see if I move it you can see there's a pinch over here so generally if you want to make it a 3d object so this wouldn't be highly recommended because of these edges now we'll look at the next option which is ellipse with deformable for that I will take multiple points let's say to define the radius that's the start point and this is the end point I come up over here I have the option called ellipse deformable select the first point and end of the first point that makes the radius for me and I create the ellipse now I again select it I will again edit points on or F10 I will again select certain points and I again will move it this time you see there is no pinch up over here so if I let's say if I only select this one point also and I increase it there you go so if you intend to extrude the surface to convert into a 3d you would rather work with the deformable rather than with this particular object now let's look at rectangle tool so I go to the perspective view for now you can find the rectangle tool in the sidebar or else under the curve you can also find rectangle you have the same options in the menu at the same time with the same options over here in the sidebar also so I first select it so the first thing is the first corner of the rectangle let's say I want to start at 0 so 0 enter and I get a free form tools where I can basically create my rectangle let's say I want the length of 20 mm enter and let's say height of 50 mm enter so you can see 20 mm by 1 2 3 4 5 550 mm there you go again just note I'm in the perspective view so that's the top view that's the front view that's the perspective view okay so now I simply zoom to this particular point let's say I again go into rectangle this time I have go to the second option that says rectangle from the center I click I need to select the center so let's say I select the center from here so there you go I can keeping this point as the center I'm creating another box so there you go I've created the box now when I do the same option I can simply right click over here you can get the rectangle center the previous option which you were using I select now you have the option called rounded so I click on rounded this time I again take the center point I again define how I want the center and then I again move my mouse a little bit you can see that the edges of your rectangle are now turning into rounded corners look at this and if you also want I'll zoom into this part let's say I'll again go into rectangle from the center I again say rounded I select 
and I click and let's see if I want to define I can also say let's say I want it 2 mm enter so there you go let's say I go to the next option over here I also have rectangle three points so I define the first point I define the second point and the third point so there you go so two for the length one for the height and you basically created the rectangle how you want again selected I go to delete then I again go to the next option where you have rectangle vertical so I define the radius first and I simply drag you will not be able to see it in the perspective you need to just rotate it so that you know that you have created a rectangle which is vertically placed I'll again do this I'll place it somewhere over here I come up over here I have rectangle vertical I click I click and I simply drag there you go the next option which we will be looking at is the polygon tool so I go to the perspective view to start with in the sidebar I can click on the polygon tool you have the number of sides over here so let's say I click on that let's say I want six sides click so you click to start now if you see that it is snapping at a corner point you can see this on the corner point over here so if as you drag basically you're increasing the size of it so I can simply click now let's say for example I make a point over here okay let's say I simply move this and I put a point up over here now again I want to draw a polygon so I click over here as I click now now if you see it will snap to that particular point it is snapping the corner to it you it cannot snap the midpoint it is say for example if I want to snap the midpoint that's not possible it will only snap to the corner so there you go and I click now but if you go to the next option over here which is the next option is circumscribed if you look at the icon itself it shows that there is a midpoint over here between the line over here whereas if in the simple polygon it was taking the sides whereas over here it's on the midpoint that's the only difference if you look at the icon itself you can get the difference I click on that so now when I click you see over here it's at the midpoint if you zoom whereas the first option it was to the corner now if I drag it see there and I click so now this time this polygon has snapped to the midpoint over here whereas the previously is taking the corner the only difference is you are taking to the midpoint now under the polygon tool we can also create a star so what I'll do is I'll again go back to the perspective view I go back to the polygon tool we have the last option which is polygon star as you click on it it says center of the star I'll say 0 enter maybe I'm going to start from the 0 point number of sides it's by default 6 I'll keep it to that so as I drag I can increase the radius once I click and I drag inside so you can see it basically creating the star for you there you go so I click it inside and the star is red so the star is created now that you cannot make it using the polygon tool you can also create this using the polyline tool but it would be a little difficult to get precisely these segments so this is another option which we could be using now next is that we can also draw these curves uh, around a particular curve for that perspective let's say what I will do is in the front view I draw a straight line and let's say I would want to make the polyline which is around this particular line so that's the reason I drew it in the front view so now I come back over here just for polygon I can say around curve I'll say around this particular curve and there you go I draw the polyline so now if you see in the perspective view you have created properly around that specific line the next option which we would be looking at is extend curve to start with we will make a control point curve now we want to extend it from this particular point so keeping the curve selected I go into curve I go into extend curve extend curve select the curve to extend so I select this curve and now it, it takes the end point and it can extend it now you decide what length do you want to extend if I say 5 and enter it has extended to 5 mm the command is still on if I click on this side so I have an extension from here if you know the length you can simply enter the length or else you can simply move the mouse to extend the curve click once you are done you press enter you are back into the command prompt then we have again curve again we have extend curve then I say by line I say by line so extend curve to extend I select this particular point and there you go it basically just creates a line so there is no curve over here you're just extending it to a line click and then that's the end of it I'll select this particular curve I'll delete it and now this time I create a control point curve 
you go to curve extend curve by arc I keep it selected and there you go you can see this is basically creating an arc for us there you go so it's extended by an arc again I go to curve extend curve arc with a center so I select this particular point I define the center and on the basis of that center we'll be creating the arc look at this there curve extend curve arc to point so we don't have a point so let's say I simply make up a point and I go back into curve extend curve arc with the center point you click the curve and you click the point and there you go so it, take, it takes that point as a radius and basically creates the arc for you now curve on surface so for that first let's say I draw a surface we will be drawing an interpolate on surface so basically select the surface to draw on we selected the surface to start the curve so let's say I'm so whatever I'm drawing is basically being drawing on the surface right click since you're done and now let's say you want to extend this particular curve which is placed on the surface so I go to curve extend curve extend curve on surface simply now it says select the surface that the curve is on so I selected the surface so you see it is extended that curve to the surface edges on both the sides so in this option basically we have seen that if you have a curve and you want to extend that particular curve how could you do that